Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great day. So we're doing a tutorial today on how to connect PlayStation 4, your PlayStation 4, to a laptop. So guys, basically this method is going to allow you to wirelessly play from your PlayStation through your laptop using the internet. So this method that we're going to be using does not require any wires except the charging cable for your controller which gets plugged in into your laptop or your computer so I did a tutorial like this like literally like two years ago but we're gonna be doing just doing a remake of the tutorial because the method I used was not working for a lot of people like it worked but there was a method I had in the description a second method which helped a lot more people so we're gonna be doing that method instead um so yeah without further ado there's gonna be a link to this website in the description do not worry a lot of people had concerns that there was that there could be a virus but trust me there is no virus this comes from the official Sony PlayStation website which literally is the manufacturer of your console so yeah, trust me, this link 100% safe. So, yeah, so when you guys get to this website, you guys are going to see there's two options Windows PC users and Mac users. So, on f there's a bunch of steps you can also read through these as well. But, um, unfortunately, it does not work if you have Windows 7. So, you got to have Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. Um, you do need a decent enough computer which has. Uh, processor which is above these um, above these that are listed over here but for most part it should work on your computer if it's Windows 10 and it's uh, decent enough to run um, so yeah it also works for Mac you just gotta click the download link and there you go so I'm running Windows 10 so I'm gonna be clicking Windows PC but the Mac user it's just the same process you just click and download so yep we are going to uh, download right here. All right, so we are about to open it. So we are going to be installing this onto my PC. You can do this on laptop. I usually would do this on my laptop, but my desktop is something I use really often. So yeah, I'm just going to save it to my local drive. One second, guys. All right. Next, we're gonna click install, and there we go. So it should be on my desktop. Yeah, my desktop's really messy because I have like a broken monitor. Anyway, so PS4 Remote Play, and this should appear. So next step, you are gonna need to plug in a DualShock 4 wireless controller. So we're gonna get the. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna get the adapt adapter for it for my controller and also get grab my controller alright guys so basically what you guys are going to want to do since it says connect a DualShock 4 controller using USB cable or the adapter so this is the cable we have right here so we're going to plug it into our controller and then we're going to take the wire and we're going to plug it into my PC right here we're going to click start now so at this point you're going to want to make sure that your PlayStation is online. I'm going to have to sign in. I'm going to cut this part. Right before you guys do this, make sure you have your PlayStation on and connected to the internet. All right guys, so for method number 1, this one's pretty simple. You just need to make sure that your PlayStation is on and that you just have the application running and it'll automatically detect that your PlayStation is connected to the internet. So yeah, this one you don't really have to do much, but for the second method that I'm going to show you right after this, you're going to have to use a code that you're going to have to put in manually. It's really easy, so either way, um, you should have it up and running at the end of this video. You can actually, so yeah, settings over here is awesome. You can adjust the video quality for remote play. So right now it's standard 540p, so it's going to be really like low quality, but you can do, if you have a really good internet connection, you can do best. Oh yeah, no, best you actually need a need a actual the newer PlayStation. So since mine is a little bit older, we're gonna do high 720p. 
But if you have the PlayStation Pro or PlayStation Slim, I believe, you should be able to do 1080p, but since mine is a little bit more older, my PlayStation, we're going to stick to 720p. For frame rate, you can, I think you can do high, so that it, yeah, it's just more smoother that way. You can use keyboard for text entry, and um, there we go. So we're just going to click OK. Then we're going to do the second method now, guys. So basically, what you're going to want to do is... Um, if you if you're not able to connect um, wirelessly or like automatically, you're just gonna wanna um, so for some people you can click change PS4 connect to and make sure that is like you're not able to click to select it. So click start. So right here it's gonna say register manually. You're gonna wanna click that. So it's gonna say on this PlayStation 4 select settings remote play connection settings add device and enter the number in the following field now this number over here it's going to appear on the playstation on the settings you gotta go through the settings so it changes from time to time so don't worry if someone can see these numbers because it changes um from time so we're going to just switch over and we're going to show you guys how it works on the actual playstation you guys are gonna want, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings from there you're going to go all the way down until you see remote play connection settings so click on that. Next, you're going to want to enable remote play and you're going to click add device. So as you guys can see, there's a code 12331779. So there's a time remaining. After that time, a new code gets generated and you're going to want to use that code. But since I mean and you're going to want to and then you're going to switch to that code if you don't enter in this code in time, but Technically speaking, you have 300 seconds, and I believe that is more than enough time. So we're going to just quickly input that onto the computer. Go to this on your PlayStation to get the code. So once you guys get the code, as you guys can see we just did, we're going to type in 12331779. So the code actually generates every 300 seconds. So if the timer goes up, the 300 seconds, don't worry, it's going to generate a brand new code. And... This is the way that Sony uses it to connect from your PlayStation, like directly from your specific PlayStation to your computer, if the automatic method does not work for you via internet. So, I just want to also let you guys know that this method, so yeah, click, click register. I just want to let you guys know that this method is a wireless method. So that means that your PlayStation can be in one room, and I can take my laptop, I can go downstairs, and have my PlayStation be upstairs, and I can connect directly um, to my console. So that's one of the best parts about this. So as you guys can see, we are live. Hold on, my controller is having a little bit of problems here. Alright, so as you guys can see, yeah, we have our... PlayStation that is being screen recorded on my desktop So this is awesome. We're gonna go with, I don't actually have PS Plus so we're gonna just go into a, a LAN game or a multiplayer. Let's just play some bots real quick We're gonna set up some bots Let's just do regular just a test. It's just a test. So I'm not gonna try hard on some regular bots But yeah, as you guys can see like when you when you update the uh, resolution, like I show, like I have shown at the beginning of the video, um, like I, right now it's playing at 720p, so the quality isn't is, is actually pretty good. So what I would suggest is you plug in an Ethernet cable to your PlayStation. That way your PlayStation can um, basically be as fast, like have the fastest connection possible. Because what I find is that on the older older PlayStations like mine. The, the Wi-Fi card isn't as good as like the PS Pro or the PS Slim. So I would suggest using la uh, Ethernet. But if you do have the Pro and or if you have the, the Slim and you want to use wi like wireless, like wireless connection, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, this method does not use any wire. So we're not, we're not plugged into any screen. So as you guys can see, we are live playing right now. So there is a little bit of a delay because I'm not using, I'm using uh, wireless, but if you use Ethernet, um, the, the delay will be much lower. There we go, we got a kill. And yeah, the quality, the quality is not bad at all, like, 
is doable, you know? Honestly, I have not played Call of Duty in such a long time, but... As you guys can see, it's pretty good. But yeah, if I had Ethernet and I plug it in and I was running the Ethernet from my PlayStation, then it would be much faster. Like it would, you you won't even have lag. Like lag would be like literally like gone. So yep, are done and like once it's all set up and connected at, at, at least once. Like, I can close this software, I can turn off my PlayStation, so what you do is you leave your PlayStation on rest mode, and whenever you want, you just open the application, PS4 Remote Play, and then you just click Start, and from there, it'll search for your PlayStation automatically since it's already been set up, and BAM! Right there, it's connected, it's shown, and there we go. So, without further ado guys, thank you guys all for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, I tried to explain to the best of my abilities so I can help you guys out. If you guys do have questions, please let me know down below. I will do my best to respond as fast as I can. Like my video that I posted two years ago, even now I'm still responding to comments. So just so you guys know, post a comment, I will respond. All right, without further ado guys, have a good day and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, comment suggestions down below. Peace out.